Hey, Chloe, do you know what time it is? I don't know, but it's getting kind of late. The, the Kind of Late Show with Chloe and Anna. Welcome back to The Kind of Late Show. The show where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. So for today's episode, we're going to have a special guest come later. But for right now, we have to do our recap, of course. All right, so our recap, we're going to start with spring break. How well, was your spring break, Anna? My spring break was a blast. I went to Florida with a few of my friends. Um, we flew down, except our flight to, OK. Me and my one friend flew down to Florida and then all of our other friends drove in one car and met us down there. So we're waiting for our like flight and we're just chilling. We were there for a while because like, you know, we just wanna get to the airport early. Um, and then we finally board, everybody sits down and then they're like, actually, everybody needs to get off the plane because oh. we need to delay for like three or four hours. And we were like, oh. Okay, cool. So we sat in the airport for a little bit, but then like an hour later, they were like, LOL, JK, you can get back on the plane oh, now. Okay, so that was fine. So we flew down to Florida, and then the issue was, everybody that was driving down there wasn't gonna get there until like 11 o'clock at night, and we got there at like 7.30ish, or like six something, I don't really remember. But we were starving, and we didn't have a car, because you can't rent a car until you're 25, 25 which, I think it's stupid. I don't but understand why that's a thing. Whatever. I, we have a license. Please. Exactly. That's. Focus my immature. I hate stupid rules. But besides the point. So we didn't have a car, and there was no food in our little like hotel room villa type thing yet. And we could have gone to like the marketplace out like at the place that we were at, but I didn't think of that. So what did we do? We instacarted. Oh, instacart. A box Not of Kraft mac that? and cheese milk and butter because all we wanted was Kraft mac and cheese. So we instacarted everything we needed and then we made mac and cheese. So that was fun. Um, then we watched The Hunger Games because I have never seen I The, Hunger, the Hunger, Hunger Games. I just don't appreciate so the So I craft. watched The Hunger Games. That's Why don't you appreciate the craft? That's not the best mac and cheese. It is though, it's the only one I will eat. I like the Because I'm a picky eater, as we know. Okay. Um, then everybody got there, so that was fun. I'm trying to like think of what we did. We went to Disney Springs, we went shopping. Cute. That was fun. We went to Top Golf. That was a lot of fun. And then we went to the beach, which was like an hour and a half away. So we had to like drive really far. And there were a bunch of tolls, which I didn't know they existed because I've never like really driven around Florida. I've only gone to like Disney and Universal. Yeah. Um, but wow, there were a lot of tolls on the way to the beach. So that was a time. That's kind but of foul because you're already paying to be in Florida. And then they just yeah. And it was like $1.50 every like somewhat miles. Oh. We were just like dropping bands. <laughs> It was something else. It was really an experience, you, but it was fun. And I'm tan, so that's really all that matters. Where were you staying? In like a hotel in Orlando. Oh, Orlando. Okay. Yeah. So. And then Disney was right there. Yeah, but we didn't. We were gonna go to Disney, but then we didn't go to Disney. And then we were gonna go to Universal, and then we didn't go to Universal. So we'll find more about Disney later. But, anyway. Yeah. What about you, Chloe? My break, uneventful. It was very uneventful. I will say the least. Um, I had a lot of trouble with the bus systems. So, let's set the scene. Okay. I wake up disoriented on a Saturday morning. I look at my phone, text message. Your bus has been canceled. I don't know what to do because the dorms close at 10 a.m. It is like 8.30 right now. I have to be like, I have to get back to the dorms and somehow unpack and find out how I'm gonna get another bus. All the buses are sold out for Saturday. So I'm like, oh my God. She's mega stranded. I'm, yeah, like what am I, I'm stranded. I have nowhere getting to stay. Getting yelled at by RAs. Yeah, I'm getting yelled at by RAs <laughs> to go get out of the room because I'm like not finished packing. Well, I was mostly finished packing. I had to get like my face washes and stuff, the things I would use in the morning to pack. And I had like nothing. And I was like, oh my God, I have, it was me and my other sweet mate there like getting ready to leave. I have, I'm so confused on what I'm going to do because I don't know where to go. I got lucky because my friends at the Bible House were like, you can stay here for the night. And I was like, you're a G. And then she was like, I'll drive you to the, the bus station the next day. So that was bus cancellation part one, which was coming home. So I didn't leave until the next Sunday, and my teammate drove me to Syracuse. Because I was going to take a bus from Oswego to Syracuse, and then take a bus from Syracuse to uh, New York City, because that's what I normally do. But then, so my teammate drove me to Syracuse, and I took a bus from Syracuse to the city on Sunday morning instead. So there we go. Then I went throughout spring break. It was nice. I saw my family. I hung out with some friends. I didn't have a car, so I couldn't do anything. 
my family still had jobs and school, so I was pretty much alone. My best friend did not have spring break the same week, so I didn't see her at all. I saw like nobody, because nobody was there. So I had like my home friends that like commute to college, and then nothing else. And I didn't have a car, I couldn't do anything, but I did see my cats and my dog. My dog was actually really nice to me for once in his life. That's actually, so exciting. He's nice to me all the time. But he was cuddly, and he's not cuddly normally, so we love him for that. And then the bus station strikes again. Okay, so I'm... This one's funny. Yeah, that's <laughs> terrible. I go to uh, New York City for my, I have like a 7 a.m. bus. Yeah. I'm on the first bus on Sunday driving back to school. And mid-bus at like 8 a.m., I get a text again. And I heard there was already a delay on the bus, another hour delay. And I was like, oh my God, another one. They canceled my second bus. So I went New York City to Albany and then Albany to Syracuse. So there was two buses, there's a little transfer. Second bus gets canceled as I'm on the first bus. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? There was, all the other buses are filled. So she I, texts in our group chat. She's like, I'm going to be stranded in Albany and right I now. Left Somebody's got to help me. I didn't answer them, so I left them questioning. Like a good friend I am. Such and then, a good friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then I get, I'm in Albany, and I'm texting, or on the way to Albany, I'm texting, like, trying to figure out, like, what I'm supposed to do. There's no buses. The next bus was at, like, 8 p.m. and my parents didn't want me at, in Albany by myself for like seven hours, eight hours. And then I, the buses weren't until the next day again, uh, uh, other than the later one, and then the train was filled. So there was nothing I could do but be stranded in Albany. And then if they got stranded, my dad was gonna come up, which is just seven hours for him to drive. So we didn't really have much to do. But my friend is from Saratoga Springs and I texted her and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, pick me up. And then I stayed at her house for the night. And then I stayed in Saratoga Springs until like overnight with my friend. I got to see her, which was really nice. I love her, I missed her. She doesn't, I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> and then um, she drove me to the bus station the next day. And then here we are. And then Chloe returned after and not telling us what her plan was at all. And then I'm back. <laughs> so I did leave them scared. But yeah, that's another dilemma for another time if we ever talk <laughs> about buses again. <laughs> But we're going to have a vent sesh because me and Anna are both we, going through something. We've had a rough few days. It's been a rough <laughs> day. One day. Well, what, my, mine was yesterday. Mine was Monday day. through Wednesday. <laughs> We've had trouble with something called parking tickets. <laughs> These are our daily dilemmas. <laughs> Anna, you go first. So yesterday, I was just like, how about a rough morning? And I was just like, I'm really not happy today. I am going to cheer myself up and get Kiyomi later. No. Now, Kiyomi's closed on Tuesdays. I forget this every time I want Kiyomi, and I always end up wanting it on a Tuesday. So let's just keep that in the back of our minds. So I'm like all excited for Kiyomi all day. And I had to go to like the mix for something. And the mix, woo. Um, I was going with we my friends, and we stopped at my one friend's house for like a few minutes because we had to drop something off. We ended up going, I, well, I pulled in her driveway, and her housemate was like, I have to go to class. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I parked on the street, go in for a few minutes, come back out, two tickets on my car. One, for parking on the wrong side of the street. Sorry, my bad. I don't live over here. I was there for two minutes. And then the other for my registration being expired because I only have my temporary up there because I don't live here. And so my mom has to mail me my new one and she just hasn't done that yet. So thank you, Kelly, for that. And then my friend, and then I get <laughs> back in my car. After we, so after I got the tickets, I go to the mix and then I get back in my car and then it wouldn't start. And I, it didn't start until like the third time. And then my friend texted me that Kiyomi was closed and it was just like a really rough day. And that was my day. So okay. now I have to figure out what to do about those tickets. So now she got two parking tickets and no Kiyomi. Yeah. But I got KQ instead, so it was fine. Oh, okay. It's fine. My parking tickets, UP has it out for me. Officer 46. <laughs> Officer 46. <laughs> Officer 46 <laughs> has it out for me because I work Friday mornings at, at the mix. I work at the mix, guys. Um, <laughs> Chloe works at the and mix. And so I go straight from work to my first class. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. And the thing is, I have a, like a parking pass, but only for West Campus. West Campus is nowhere near the buildings. It would literally take longer to walk than to drive and park in a, like, you know, I'm going to park in West Campus. So. I park in the residence spot, East Campus, but it's residence, so I'm like, okay. At first I was getting employee tags for parking tickets because I was accidentally parking in the employee section, so I was like, okay, whatever, I got like one. And then I started parking in the employee one, and the next thing you know, it's wrong area. And I'm like, what? I'm in residence. And then I realized it's East Campus, and I'm like, okay, fine, but I still have work Friday morning, so I'm like, maybe I'll test it because so many other people also do that, like, you know, and they don't get tickets every time, or at all, like I know many people who have the same parking ticket, stay there for the same amount of time, 
and all that stuff, and they don't get tickets. So I'm like, let me do the same thing and test my luck. I lose every time. I roll the dice, snake eyes every time, because I don't get it. We get like daily texts it's in our group chat from Chloe. Chloe got Officer 46 gave me another ticket, and I'm like, Chloe, yep. stop parking there. It's like, <laughs> but the thing is, if I don't <laughs> park there, fights. I'm going to be late to class. But that's only Fridays that you work. But yeah, but no, but sometimes days. I work other days. And sometimes I'm parked at <laughs> 45, and I'm like, I might as well just drive to class. And then I get a ticket anyway. They know my car. They see my car, and they're like, this, she's here again. Park Take it. And so park. what happened was I got one I on Monday. <laughs> and then I got one yesterday for parking in 45 for too long. And then I got one this morning. <laughs> I got another one this morning for being parked in the wrong area because I went to go move my car because I was like, I'm just going to park here for my first class and then I'm going to, because I need to move my car from 45. So I was like, let me park here for my first class and then I'll move it again. And so parks right overnight area. in 45 often. <laughs> That's only because I, have, I, do, I try to do that for work only and sometimes I don't. But then I, um, the ticket blows off my car and then they give me another one. I got two in the same spot. So I'm emailing the people and I'm going to go talk to them to try to appeal those things because I don't think it's fair at all. Yeah. Anyways. In conclusion, Chloe and I have bad luck with parking, but I think we should move on to a more lighthearted topic and we will get to that right after this break. <laughs> Say, President Stanley, whenever there's bad weather, who would you turn to? I'd turn to Storm Team 10. No, right but here. you've got to say it like this. Storm Team 10. Say it with me. Storm, Storm Team 10. Jill told me it was him? Kitty from Glee. Yeah, what it's is it? Al Roker. <laughs> Welcome back to The Kind of Late Show. The show where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. Today we have a very special guest, Erin. Erin, <laughs> introduce yourself. Um, my name's Erin Blank. I'm a cinema and screen studies major, creative writing minor. I am a senior this year, thank goodness. And <laughs> okay, foul. Um, I like photography, sports, Disney, horror movies. You like Disney? I had no idea. Oh my god, are you for real? <laughs> oh, you know, I just... Things I just like, um, yeah. What's people. Me? Anywho, oh. what's a pet peeve of yours? Pet peeves? Not listening. Oh, see, I don't listen a lot. City, so not like me. Your pet peeve is actually. I, I didn't Starbucks say show. that. <laughs> Directly. Anyway. Guys, I actually just gasped at her to come on the show today. <laughs> she did. True story. Did, yeah. Now that we know a little bit more <laughs> about Erin, let's really get to know her with these next few questions. Yeah, we have some fun questions. I really do hope you're scared, though. <laughs> the first question is, do you think aliens exist? Am I starting? Well, yeah. You go first, and then we'll think the we'll same thing. It. There's definitely something out there. I, I don't, agree with that. I don't like, know if it's directly aliens, but there's definitely something. I feel like aliens is like a broad yeah. term. Like it could, I feel like it would determine like the other stuff out there. Like I feel like, like definitely not like the like little green guys. No. Yeah, but I think there's but, definitely, like, definitely something. something. Yeah. That's what I have, because you have to think about this. How big the universe is. You would think that there is nothing? There's so much Seriously. stuff. You think that there is like, nothing out here. We're here. Uncover. 
Ooh. It's like the ocean. The ocean freaks me out because there's so much of the ocean that we just like haven't like. Ooh. Oh, I um, don't like the thing about the deep ocean. I like yeah. the ocean. Just not I like the, the ocean, part. but like once it gets like deep, I'm like, wrong. Yeah, that's it's a no-no. Well, it's just like freaky to think about. But do you whatever. think aliens think we exist? Uh, I wonder if they're like smart. Do they think like, that? Do they have like common knowledge? Is that like a thing? <laughs> I'm sure they just spy on us. <laughs> It's actually just a simulation, like simulation. This entire they're thing. like so much smarter than us and like watch us live our lives and they're like, you're stupid. They watch us like a reality TV show. Oh my God, that'd be kind of funny. That would but be. enough about aliens before I freak myself out <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Next question. Um, so if tomatoes were a fruit, well, they are a fruit. Does that make ketchup a smoothie? Because it's got like the sugar, but you put like sugar. Isn't there sugar in ketchup or something like that? I don't know. You I don't, can I don't get it without sugar. The existence so of there ketchup. is sugar in it. Yeah. Okay. Good. I almost sounded stupid. Like, I'm a ketchup hater. <laughs> almost was dumb. I like ketchup sometimes. I'm not a ketchup hater, but I'm not. But I think you won't drink ketchup straight up. I mean, there's definitely people that do. There definitely there's is. There's definitely but I feel someone. Like like ketchup, like is is it blended? Like how smoothies are blended, or is it just? Well, like how are you making ketchup? Is the question. What do you like mash it until it's ketchup, or is there like? You know, I really what, wish what, I knew. We should have Googled pro- this. <laughs> What's the process of ketchup making? What is that? Over, over break, I'm looking up how you make ketchup, because now I'm curious. Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like that also determines on if it's a smoothie or not. But it's also, like, you wouldn't use smoothie as, like, a condiment. True. You know? Because well. wouldn't that make mayo? No, because mayo is literally eggs. Because I was like, oh, wait, yeah, like, mash the eggs up, but eggs are just not literally no. a fruit. Anyway. <laughs> it's okay, anyway. Next question, and this is like a, a really opinionated one. If someone smelled terrible, would you tell them? And if so, how would you go about it? I actually have a story about this, a really traumatic story about this, and it was really I honestly, I have a traumatic story as well. I'm going to be so straight up, and you guys can't hate me for this. I would not tell them, but I would definitely tell somebody else after. See, I... <laughs> I would have been, yeah, that yeah. person was rank. I was, I was at this, like, little, like three-day conference thing with my school and there was like a dance at the end of it and we were it was at this like hotel and our rooms were like way over here and the place where the dance was was like way over there um that's important I promise and we're all like dancing having a good time in our nice little dresses and my friend my guy friend looks at me and goes Anna you might want to go grab some more deodorant and I was like and then I like just like left, and cry. all of like my girlfriends that were standing there, they're like, "Why would you say that to her? Like, if anything, say it to one of us." And then we like that's like a girl to yeah. girl thing. Like, you yeah. don't say that, and it traumatized me. And I would be traumatized. And then he came to my room after, and he's like, "I'm so sorry." And I was like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "I'm like, not." Like it was this. the it was trying to be nice, but like it, that kind mm. of hurts. What do you think? Would you tell somebody? Uh, no, because my story, I did not tell the girl, but everyone, it was, we were staying in a hotel room. The one girl smelled bad. I was sick, so I couldn't smell anything. The other two girls, they said, we can't stand the smell. So they hopped in another girl's hotel room, and I had to stay in this poor room with the girl. So then when she woke up, she's like, where'd they go? And I'm like, they went to go get breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, we just all have that one kid that you, you know smells, but you don't say anything. Um, but moving on, this anyway. is making me insecure. How would you handcuff a one-armed man? I was talking to, when I was looking up these questions before, I was talking to Dom, and uh-huh. Dom Perone, bestie. Um, I met a man with no arms once. Really? He came into Dairy Queen, and I didn't know how to give him his, his oh, ice cream. No. It was really, really serious. He said to the belt. What? Handcuff them to the belt. Oh. Yeah. I feel like that makes the most sense, but I feel like it's a funny thing. That does make sense. What about someone with no hands? How do you handcuff someone with no hands? Their arm. Yeah, but you just. Really? <laughs> I don't really know. Yeah. It's probably, <laughs> I don't know. Would but. you use zip ties at that point? Oh, maybe. Yeah, but what is that still like? I feel that's but still if easier. But it so tight. It depends on like what kind of handless you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, are you like nub handless? Are you like, are you like <laughs> Anyway, I feel like that's enough of that okay. one. <laughs> Last that's question. <laughs> Describe. <laughs> Describe the color yellow to a blind person. I don't think I could. I, I genuinely don't think I would know I, what to say. Like, because you'd want to say, like, when you close your eyes and look up at the sun, but they're not looking up at the sun. <laughs> um, like, right? Feel, like, feel I, the warm. I, I, like, warm, I feel like. Warm. Is um, bright. Yeah. Sometimes bright. really ugly. Depends on, like, what Does kind of on the yellow. Like, like, is it mustard like, yellow? Is it? I'm going to be don't so, do so si- honest. Don't do stitch like that. I would not want this color yellow as, like, a shirt. Don't do stitch like that. But it's cute. It's cute, though. How dare you? Right. Well, anyways. Anyways, yeah, no, I really don't think I would know how to, like, explain yellow to a person Mm -hmm. who cannot see 
<laughs> right. Okay. You know what? Well, it is blind. <laughs> do you think maybe to like? Do you think bald people get dandruff? Um, That's the next question. I feel like, like me, like depends on how if they take care of their scalp. Because isn't yeah, it's scalp like. Like if you get like if pieces, you're bald and you get sunburn on your scalp and then your scalp. Oh yeah, I used then to get bad dandruff when I was a yeah, kid. Yeah. I had to use a head and shoulders. <laughs> I had a, I was a head and shoulders kid. But now I don't have dandruff, so we're chill. I got lice a lot when I was. So did I. I got lice like three times. I had to stop being a softball catcher because I had lice. I told that story once. I could, yeah. Once. I never I had lice. I got in kindergarten prepping lice. You never had lice. Knock on wood. Really? Nah. Uh, we had the special shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> we had the special shampoo in our like shower. They knew. Yeah. Never no, me knew. having lice like tw almost 20 years ago is gonna come back right now and give you lice. I'll give just you the sweatshirt that hair. I wore when I was eight and had lice just so you no, can get I'm lice. No, I'm good. It was actually in the cubby of another kid who had lice, and that's how I got oh, lice. Oh, that's Because there was another kid in my grade that was known for lice, and then... He was known for he lice? He was known for lice in third I'm grade. Imagine being known for having lice. Because he had, like, longer so hair, tragic. and it was always kind of crusty. Rest in peace, brother. That's tragic. Sorry. <laughs> but it's okay. Back to the dandruff question. Do you think that they could? But isn't, like, well, you're constantly getting water to the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it's a, like it, again, like, it depends on how well you take care of your, your bald scalp. Hmm. You know? Sc yeah. Scalp care. Scalp. Is there like is there something you special for bald people to yeah. get rid of scalp? Like to get rid of dandruff? Get rid of the scalp, actually. They scalp them. <laughs> like what would be I don't even know. Don't but know. anyways, we don't that's too much thinking. <laughs> that's enough for now. So that's enough questions. Uh, after this break we are gonna get into a little more fun. So we'll see you then. <laughs> If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Shine on that boy. Look at the bling. Look at the, do we got a diamond test drop? Yeah, that's getting bad. Yep. 10 out of 10 recommend on Yelp. I'm buzzed. I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. OK, you know what? <laughs> yep, that's mine. I'm going to need that back. No. Kevin. Welcome back to The Kind of Late Show. The show where we talk about anything and everything going on in our lives and yours. So today we are doing a segment that we stole straight from Off the Clock. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take some BuzzFeed quizzes and they're going to be about Disney. As said before, Erin is a big Disney fan so we'll talk a little bit about that while we take the quiz because she did spend a whole semester working for Disney. Yeah. Now, but throwing back to what we were talking about right before the break, the ketchup is a smoothie. From what we saw from that short, like we watched a little video about yeah. the making of ketchup, and I feel like the answer is no, it's not. It looked smoothie. like a powder, so I, the fact that they had to do something to make that a powder just did not sit right with me to be a smoothie. Mm. So yeah, so condiment it is. Conclusion: ketchup is not a smoothie. Yeah. Thank you for coming to our TED talk on yeah. ketchup. <laughs> yes. Um, so the first one we're doing is which Disney villain are you? Now, what? How do they handle Disney villains in like Disney? Like you know, there, from a working perspective. Um, honestly, there's a mixed crowd. Like a lot of people do love villains because they talk about possibly having their own villain land. Ooh. And a bunch of people got so excited for it. 
so. I would have so much fun out of Villain Land. Right? Like, that would be so much fun. I've already come up with like so many ride ideas that I want to be like Imagineers. What's your like? What's your like top one that you've come up with? Uh, Hades boat ride. Ooh. <laughs> See, would it be like, like, like a pirate Disney villain? Like, Caribbean kind, kind of, of but like the water would be green, like yeah. the souls and all that. That'd be cool. And then I would cool. think like you're battling Ooh. Hades in a sense, but then Hercules comes oh. in. Of course, as of course. he does. You know. See, I like Maleficent. Oh, you're answering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first one was, um, <coughs> what's, what's your greatest, greatest quality? quality? And I said being manipulative. Oh, I'm saying Because I'm thinking <laughs> gaslight, girl. Gaslight, gas gatekeep. Girl boss, for real. <laughs> I, I love gaslighting. Mm, what's so your ooh. ideal lair? I said a castle on top of the mountain. I feel like that's so fun. They, deep and, like in you the look woods. up and you're like, oh my gosh. It's See, just... I was going to say a castle deep in the woods, but I feel like I'd get freaked out by the woods too quick. Yeah, because I think there would be something more evil in me. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'd I'm going to get mauled by cocaine. But I would get lonely on top of the mountain too. <laughs> I'm going to do a palace in a kingdom. I feel like that's oh, what boy. I have. I get, like, I get really bad FOMO. Like, I would need to be surrounded by people. <laughs> <laughs> FOMO. Like, I would not be able to live oh, on top of the The villains are having a party myself. again. I'm going to get invited. <laughs> oh no, what? what like, happened? I feel like that would be the kind of villain I would be. It would be like, like Maleficent, like she didn't get invited to the party, and that was her whole big issue. Like, no, that would be for me, real though. She's like, getting FOMO. Like I've seen all the villagers have, and same with like the Grinch. Sorry, I love the Grinch, but like he was just like upset just at the Who's for being like all to be together, and he wasn't a part of it. And then like at the end of the movie, not to spoil the Grinch if you haven't seen the Grinch, <laughs> but they're all like happy and singing spoil together, and he's like, I want to be happy and mm, sing with them, and then he goes and sings with them. I love the Grinch, but that I feel like that would be the kind of villain I would be. Ooh, in my preferred sidekick. Oh, I want oh, someone funny. Oh, this is tough. We have to focus, guys. Yeah, I keep distracting myself. I don't know what kind of sidekick I'd want. Insane? <laughs> no. Yo, that'd be kind of fun, though. I went with wisecracking. Like, uh, I, I went with, slide. I yeah, you love, like, this, the, yeah, like, the, uh, what's it called? Iago? The bird from No, Hawaii. not Iago. I'm not thinking of a specific person. Like, the <laughs> uh, com uh, comedy relief character. Mm. What is the best motivation to be evil? Out of jealousy. Revenge? <laughs> Revenge, bro. Mm. I love being petty. Ooh, Spite's a good one too. Actually, right, I don't love right. Petty, Mom. To obtain I lie. power, everybody loves a little power. You I'm know, not petty. Spite. <laughs> What's the best accessory a villain could have? Um, a cauldron. A staff, though. You walking around with a staff? I like the long. I don't robes. like the staffs because I feel like then you're just like, oh, I'm old. I need this to walk. Uh, but if it's cool looking, then you got like the little spice factor of it. But I think I'm gonna do crystal ball because Are I want to like see the future. Are you calling old? Like kinda. <laughs> I'm doing crystal ball because that has like, actual. Isn't she uh, though? No. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, I want to put I'm curses on people. Because I used to like. Oh wait, they say spells. Being able to use magic spells. I want to be a witch, bro. You want to be a witch? My power color red. Uh wait. Weapon of choice. Which one of these powers is the best? Magic. I'm hypnotize people. Get people to do what I want. Which of these do you hate the most? Yeah. True love. I want to put curses on people. Okay, Sorry. I'm so lost. Um, not being included. They literally have FOMO as an answer. <laughs> there it is. What's your weapon of choice? I'm gonna do hey, that. you're speeding through these, Chloe. Like, Erin and I are still talking about our weapons. <laughs> we got two minutes left. We need to get them our okay. answers. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let, Let me focus. focus. The best way to get Magic, back at your enemies. Put a curse on them. Chloe, Emotionally manipulated. Oh, Chloe. Um, this is so fun. Oh my god. What um, is the best way to get back at your enemies? Definitely putting a curse on embarrassing them. Embarrassing them. Killing them. <laughs> emotionally <laughs> emotionally <laughs> manipulating them. <laughs> I mean, emotionally yes. manipulating one of their loved ones. I like that one better, honestly. I'm just doing them. Because why hurt someone else when you could just hurt them instead? Because hurting someone else hurts somebody for fun and also hurts them. Yeah, but Did sometimes you not watch you Hunger be, Games? But the best kind of villains are the ones with the soft spot. Mm. OK. Your biggest fear. Um, Being left out. <laughs> Oh, my results are calculated. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and I got Maleficent. Who saw oh, that yeah. one coming? Oh, at least she's like <laughs> um, cool. I losing guess. your power over others. I'll I'm Ursula. I also got <gasps> Ursula. I love Ursula. Look at us. <laughs> we do, but we pity any poor unfortunate soul that messes with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> What's? Uh, yeah. Well, now that we know what villains we are, maybe we can start taking after them somehow. Oh, that'd but be so much we fun. are unfortunately running out of time. We are. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching us. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at WTOP Kinda Late. And from there, you can follow us on all of our other social media platforms. And Erin, do you have any socials you would like to plug at the moment? Yeah, plug. Erin <laughs> Blank Photos. That's my photography oh, account. She takes so many amazing pictures of us, yeah. definitely. <laughs> 
Check she really does good, and <laughs> it's always funny. Unfortunately, she can't even take photos for us today because well, she's she here. Busy <laughs> <on the laughs> she is busy. We almost didn't have her today, but I'm so but happy we that you showed that's up. All that matters yep. with all of her <laughs> Disney apparel and trinkets. Yeah, look yes. cute. But make sure you tune in every other Wednesday at 9:30 for more of the, the Kind of Lead Show. I hope you enjoy.